My name is Anna and I'm a realtor. I've had my real estate license since 2005 and currently I am also working as a server in a restaurant downtown. And you make how much an hour? $15 an hour serving at the restaurant and then plus 10% of my tips. Okay. Sorry. And, and rent is about 10% of what I sell. 10% of what you sell. Okay. Yes. And um, rent is $3,850. What does it look like to pay rent on that income, on the income that you have? It's extremely challenging. And it's um, a lot of times when I can't make my ends meet, I have to call on family for help. And what is that like to do that as a person who's, oh, you're also raising four children. We forgot to mention that. Mama I'm four. raising four children and I'm working two different jobs and it's hard. I never thought I would be at this point in my life having to ask family for help. What's the most difficult part about being a renter in Lafayette? I used to own a house and I grew up in the house that my parents owned. I've lived in Lafayette since 89. Before that, I lived in Delaware, but I owned a on house. On the same street where Joe Biden's family lived? Um, no, I didn't live in the, on the same street, but I lived in the same neighborhood. Okay. And in Delaware. In Delaware. And then you came here in 89? Yes. And um, my parents owned the house that I lived in and grew up. And in 2005, I bought a house as well in Lafayette. But then in 2016, when I filed for divorce, I realized that I wouldn't it'll stay in the house because I didn't have the money. Um, I was a stay at home mom at the time. And now I um, don't have the money to be able to afford to buy. And my rent is eating me alive. What in your view has to happen to help people or to to give people like you some form of relief, either a way to buying or a, a way to um, accessing affordable <laughs> rent? Well, so I've noticed there's low income housing in Lafayette, but it seems like the majority of the places that are available are just two bedroom. And I have four children, two girls and two boys. And so ideally I would need a three bedroom place and the, and the wait list is very long. It is extremely long. What would you do here if you didn't have family here to help bail you out um, when you can't make rent? Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to stay in Lafayette. And what do you say to the people who say, well, if you can't afford it here, just go somewhere else? It's really hard since I grew up here and um, I love this community and all the people in it who are nice to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And um, what do you what do you want people to to think about when they think about the issue of housing accessibility in Lafayette? And I want them to know that there are options for them. I want other people to have experiences. Um, you know, for the people who even were married and went through a divorce, like me, if it's important to them to keep the kids in the school so they don't have to have even more transitions. I think it would be great if there was more affordable housing. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Thank you.